Hey guys, it's Zion, Policy Chief, the IT guy. Today I'll be answering the regional mock examination, ordinary level March 2018, paper three, computer science. To be very precise, the Northwest Regional Mock. Okay. I would like you to note before we start that whenever you are answering uh, these type of questions, practicals, computer science, or ICT advanced level, the first thing you have to do is to create a folder on the desktop which will contain your name. To do that, you right click on your desktop, you go on new folder, and you write your name. My name is Zion. That is a folder created on the desktop. So I'm going to start off with tax one, which is 20 marks. Immigration, that's the title. Uh, the first question there is, what is the name of the application you will use to type the passage above? If you are asked to do so, typing really this with words. So uh, normally the name of the, the application will be word. You just need to look for the type of the version installed on your computer. For mine, when I click on my have Windows 10, when I click on this search bar, I write Word. I realize that mine is Word 2016. So that's the name of my application. When it comes here, I click on the blank document and maximize. Mine is Word 2016. So the first question I think is answered. Second, Set the page size of your document as A4. To set the page size to A4, you go on the layout tab. These are all tabs up here, the file tab, home tab, insert tab, design layout, different, and up to the view tab. So you click on the layout tab. You go on the page size, the size, and you set it to A4. Here is letters, but let's click on A4. Now that is the A4. Three, type the passage in the box above. So there's a box there, we have to type the passage here. Let's assume that it's typed already. That's my passage that I've typed already. I don't have time to do that. That will take a lot of time. I did that before. Okay. Four, apply the following formatting to the document. The first point there, the heading immigration should be in heading immigration. Whenever I want to apply formatting, I have to highlight the text on which I have to apply the formatting. You click on the immigration, you come and click on the home tab. And see in there, you should be bold. Here is bold, this capital D here. Yeah. Bold, italics, the I indented. On the line, the U. Font style, Tahoma. Here's the fonts. You just type Tahoe. And Tahoma comes out. You click on enter. Center align with. Font size 16, the center align, click here. On the paragraph group, click on the center align. Then the font size, you come and click on 16. The rest of the document should be, the rest of the document, which means as from immigration up here, right down to the end. The rest of the document should be justified alignment. Here is justified alignment under the paragraph group. It makes the document to have shape. To be aligned in both left and right direction. Font size 12. The size should be 12 here. Yeah. Font style time new romance. You come and you just type the time. New romance come out. That's it. Line spacing 1.5. Yeah, under the paragraph we have line spacing. You come and select 1.5. Insert page number at the top right of the document. To insert the page number, you're going to insert tab. We click on page number, top right, top of the page. You come here, right. Here is it, the page number. You come and double click on this space. Go to a new page in your document and insert the following table. Go on a new page. But you realize that this document, the, the job, farmland, and business opportunity are bullet points. So you have to highlight these three uh, bullets. 
I need them to be bullet point before we go to the next page. So go to the next page. Either you come and click at the end of the page or the end of the last text and you press enter till you reach the next page or still you can go to insert and you click on blank page it will take you to the next page okay six go to the new page in the document and insert the following table yeah that's the full table to be inserted you need to count the number of rows and columns when you look at this table we have a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six columns. One, two, three, four rows. We come on the insert tab table. You can directly take it from here. Uh, six column. Six times four. Six column, four rows. Or still, there's another way of doing that. Insert tab. You click on the table, you come on the insert table. Here you write the number of rows and columns, and you click on OK. It appears when you do that column, don't that already with the other method. Here we are. With this, you can come and click on the, the design, design or the layout. You select the eraser. You come and you erase this line. There are these two and these with this. I think it's okay. You click back on the eraser and we start typing. Here, I think it's written Cameroon. Yeah, it's Cameroon. Cameroon, Nigeria. Ghana, France, Germany, here we have Africa, Europe. Immigrants, fifty thousand, seventy, twenty. One million, five million. Then we can uh, highlight everything and we center a line. Highlight. Let me see if we go like this. No, it won't. Take it from here. Center a line. Good. Uh, save your work as task one. This will be done in our folder. File, save as, look for browse and look for your desktop. On the desktop, we have our folder there, Zion Holy City. And we rename this thing as task one. In our candidate folder, we save it, click on save, exit, 
if you go on our folder on the desktop, you click on our folder, you realize that that our document has task one. So I think that is all about the task one of this uh, session. In my next video, I'm going to answer the task two, which is about spreadsheets. So see you guys, make sure you click on the link and you click on like.